In this video, I'll show you how I heat form this piece of cast acrylic into a circular arc shape. This will be used as the front panel on a display case that I've been working on. Before we get started, just a couple of disclaimers. The way I heated it up it wasn't really very safe. And secondly, I'd like to say I'm not an expert in heat forming acrylic. Woodworking's more my thing. But I did do quite a bit of research to understand how to do this, so I believe if you can use a safe way to heat up the acrylic, then you'll find the information in this video valid, accurate, and hopefully helpful. So let's get started. So I first need to build this form that will be used to shape the acrylic onto. To make the form, I'm going to start with cutting a full circle using a jig on the bandsaw. I want the acrylic to be formed at a radius of 11 inches, so I'm setting the jig to about an eighth of an inch less than I want that final acrylic size to be because of the thickness of the eighth inch plywood that I'm going to add to the form later. Sorry, I know it looks a little strange that I'm cutting a smaller circle from a larger one, but I just happen to have this 24 inch diameter circle left over from another project and wanting to reuse the wood. I could have just started with a square and the circle cutting jig would work the same either way. So after it's rough cut on the bandsaw, then I take the jig over to the router table. This jig works in a two-step process. First, to rough cut on the bandsaw, and then clean up the edge and get the final radius that I'm looking for on the router table. And I'm using a quarter inch straight bit on the router table. Once the full circle is cut, then it's a matter of cutting it into two identical partial arcs. The length of the arcs needs to be several inches longer than I want the final piece of acrylic to be, just to give me some extra room on the form. I'm setting a stop block on the table saw crosscut sled using a piece of double sided tape and then I can just make sure that I cut both arcs exactly the same size. I'm cutting the base of the form from a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I'm cutting the ends at a mitered angle so that they are approximately the same angles as the ends of each arc. And it's just a matter of attaching each arc to the base using some screws. And I'll also put in a two by four cross member in place just to hold it all sturdy. I'm using some 8th inch plywood to drape over the form and with some rails attached on each end in order to give it some substance to put the screws into. This took quite a bit of finagling to get it attached straight and true. I did end up spraying the bottom side of the plywood with some water to loosen it up a little bit and I finally got it attached. And then I screwed on these tabs or ears, not sure what to call them. Anyway, the reason is just to have a guide to place the hot acrylic against just to make sure it's on the form straight and comes out of the form like an arc and not helical or crooked. All right, it's time to cut the flat sheet of acrylic to size. Figuring out the length took a bit of math and I calculated the length of the sheet to be based on the circumference of an 11 inch circle, which is 69.1 inches and then the ratio of the angle of the arc, which is 106 degrees, divided by a full circle of 360 degrees, and I come up with a length of about 20 and 3 eighths inches. And then the width is simply the height of the display case, which is 15 and a half inches. I was able to find this sheet of cast acrylic online for a pretty affordable price. I'll leave a link in the description. And then I just cut it on the table saw, just like I would a piece of wood. Note that acrylic shrinks when it's heated up by about one and a half percent and I was aware of this and I just figured that shrinkage would be too small to worry about on this project. Well, I was wrong about that as I'll show you later. I should have accounted for it. So I preheat the oven to 350 degrees since this is cast acrylic. If it were extruded acrylic I'd want to set the oven at 325 degrees. I'm going to set the acrylic on a piece of plywood to hold it flat while it's heating and then cover the wood with some foil. I'm doing my best not to get any wrinkles in it since it might mark the hot acrylic. Note that the more ideal way to do this would be to hang the acrylic while it's heating but for me in this situation it just didn't seem practical. 
and it's important to remove the protective film before heating it up. After the oven's preheated, then I decided to put the plywood in about two minutes before the acrylic just to give it a little head start in heating up. And then I carefully placed the acrylic in the oven and set the timer for 12 minutes. The time that is needed to heat it up is roughly calculated as one minute for every 0 0.01 inches of thickness. Since this is three millimeter thick, or actually 0.118 inches thick, then I estimate the time to be 0.118 divided by 0 0.01, or about 12 minutes. Okay, so while that's in the oven, just a couple of comments about why this is really not a safe thing to do. When acrylic gets too hot, it puts off vapors that are flammable. And a typical kitchen oven just isn't vented well enough to prevent those vapors from potentially causing a fire hazard or even an explosion. So how hot is too hot that will cause hazardous vapors? Well, for cast acrylic, that's around 375 degrees, and for extruded acrylic, around 335 degrees. Note that this isn't much above the temperature that the oven is being set to, and your kitchen oven controller isn't likely very accurate, or there may be hot spots in your oven, just adding more uncertainty in addition to the core problem of the lack of ventilation of a kitchen oven. I've tested my oven's temperature controller in the past using an oven thermometer, and I'm using the convection bake setting, which blows a fan and hopefully to reduce hot spots. Still not really a very safe thing to do because the oven just isn't vented properly for heating an acrylic. So I'd really recommend that if you have a safer way to heat up your acrylic, then do it that way instead. Before taking it out of the oven, I put on these cotton cloth gloves that I have so I can handle the hot acrylic. These are pretty handy gloves to have. I'll leave a link in the description on how to find them online. With the acrylic now close to 350 degrees, and it bends pretty easily around the form, I'm using a couple of pieces of wood as straight edges just to hold down the edges as it cools pretty quickly. Note that I draped a piece of cotton, actually it's an old bed sheet, over the plywood form just to provide a little insulation as the hot acrylic hits the form. So here's the finished piece as I slide it in as the front panel in the display case. And remember I mentioned earlier that acrylic shrinks about one and a half percent when you heat it up. So you can see how much here it shrank compared to the side piece in the display case that I would cut both of them exactly the same size. So it worked out for me. It's still within the overlap of the wood frame, but just barely and really a bit shorter than I'd like it to be. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the result. Thanks so much for watching, and if you think I've earned it, it'd be great if you hit that thumbs up like button and consider subscribing.